Like a tattoo artist's needle, we're going under the surface. Here we go. Undercover, inside this tattoo shop with a secret. From the outside, Ink Link on East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia is unassuming. But this business is more than skin deep. You see, we didn't come here for a tattoo. We're looking for a hidden room. Next to the art board, we find an unmarked door, which leads to another. This is a different kind of speakeasy. Within seconds, we're led inside into a backroom gambling operation Ink Link doesn't want you to know about. This place is protected by a fake wall and a video surveillance system that monitors the outside. Is there a reason it's, it's hidden back here? Question, Customers come by word of mouth. We found at least four video poker and blackjack machines, untaxed and unregulated, this one branded with the Panthers logo. The games work like any you'd find in an actual casino. The problem, according to the State Bureau of Investigation, North Carolina banned video poker machines in 2007, and games of chance are illegal. It's unclear how many other businesses may be doing the same thing, but this former sweepstakes cafe owner says the industry can be lucrative. If I was still open today, I'd at least be pulling in 10 to 20 grand a week. We showed our video to former CMPD officer Walter Bowers. It would certainly be uh, illegal. I don't think you have to be a, a world-class detective to kind of see some of the things that look kind of shady. We interviewed Ink Link's owner Jeff Mooney back in 2016. Gastonia itself has been a little, kind of like a little mecca for tattooing. Over the phone, he tells us, please air your story. The only comment I have is it's not on my property. I don't lease the building. Nothing you recorded is located on my property that I lease. Technically, that's true. This cramped casino is actually located inside an abandoned adjacent clothing store. With the front door locked, the only way in is through Ink Link. In addition to video poker, we also found tattoo supplies, suggesting this gambling den is also used for their storage. The landlord tells us that would be trespassing, because Ink Link does not have permission to use this space. Because of what we found, this shop's luck is now running out. The landlord telling us Ink Link will be evicted. Off camera, I brought our findings here to Gaston County District Attorney Locke Bell. He said he appreciated us bringing this to his attention and said he was going to discuss it with local police. After weeks of leaving messages, we still had questions. So we came back, this time our camera no longer hidden. Hi, Matt Grant, Fox 46. Are you guys running an illegal gambling operation here? These employees didn't want to face our questions. What was that? Another ducked into a room and closed the door. We're just trying to get some answers about why there's a gambling operation going on back there. Answers this business may soon have to give to law enforcement. In Gastonia, Matt Grant, Fox 46, Charlotte.